You know, I, I really believe that Matthew is just, at the end of the day, all of us. You know, he is neurodivergent, but also he represents someone that's just wanting to be a better person. Uh, he doesn't let his past define him, but he's also just looking to grow. And um, when you know where he's come from to where he is, it's very admirable. I mean, you feel motivated seeing him. And I think a lot of people can identify with Matthew's journey in the beginning, being misunderstood, not being seen, having people ignore him, and not just feeling valued. And I think a lot of times in our life, we kind of feel that way, you know, like whether we're just burnt out from work or just, you know, not, not doing the right career that we feel so scared we need to, we want to do. Um, and, and you just feel like you are just not, there's no light on you. And so you see Matthew find his light and it inspires you to be like Matthew. So I think a lot of people just identify with that and it motivates them. So the truth in is preparing for Jesus' is your salvation. How are you emotionally preparing for this? Because this is, I mean, this is the biggest thing, right? Yeah. You know, it's, it's funny. We just wrapped season five. And for me, Paris, I, I realized that we have two seasons left. Season five was Holy Week. So, of course, it's highly emotional. There's a lot of tension happening. There's a lot of ups and downs. There's just, um, it's just emotional. It's very emotional. And um, it was hard to get through at times. But I think leaning on our family of casting crew, we're all in it together and we're all uh, uplifting each other and motivating one another. But, you know, knowing that the crucifixion is, is near, it's just making it even harder that we're so close to the cast as the actors. So um, it's, um, it's a bit heartbreaking, but I think, you know, the story has to be told, but we are just pushing forward. And I love how The Chosen just beautifully tells the stories the way it does. So it will, it will, it will carry you through. I know it'll be hard, but we're all in it together. And the good news is Jesus comes alive again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have something to look forward to, but let's just see how we tell the, the crucifixion Holy Week stuff first, and then at least we know we have something good to look forward to.